My name's Margaret LeCroix and I was born in 1939. I would have been just over a year old when the Germans were uh, uh, approaching the islands and my father pleaded with my, to my mother to, to evacuate with me. But she was uncertain. Uh, she went twice to the reception area and the transport didn't come and she would have had to report back in the morning. But by then she decided she wasn't going. My father had promised her that he'd follow as soon as they'd made arrangements with the animals, but she could see it wasn't going to happen, and that was the reason we stayed. Um, my mother lived till she was 95, and I always said that that would have been the right decision uh, for us to stay together during the war rather than be separated. I was brought up in the Guernsey French, the Genesier, and that was so that whether the Germans questioned me in English or German, I wouldn't have understood them. What did you get in the Red Cross parcels? Well, there was um, parcels that came from either New Zealand or from Canada, and ours was a Canadian one. And what I enjoyed most, that there was chocolate. There was a bar of chocolate, and I hadn't had chocolate before. There was also a tin of um, beef, uh, of cold meat, which we call bully beef, and that was lovely. But my father really enjoyed the coffee. They had ground coffee in our parcel. Um, as for the rest, there would have been condensed milk, and I don't remember the rest, but the boxes weren't very big, so there wasn't that much in them, but they were very, very welcomed. My um, parents never made friends with them. Um, we, they passed our house every day and they would have recognized us and us them. But my, my father never had a conversation with them. Um, so there wasn't a case of like or dislike, we just didn't have anything to do with them. The, the Germans used the uh, St. Saviour's steeple as a lookout and going to school we'd see three or four Germans patrolling the top of the steeple and they'd wave to us as children and we'd wave to them. So I wasn't sort of bothered about the Germans at all. But at the end of the war a number of Germans stayed behind so they could uh, clear the mines that had been put around the island and then of course we became friendly and spoke to them uh, because they were prisoners of war then. Did you hear the St. Peter Port bombing or no, no anyone hurt? My father was there with his brothers and without a doubt he had a terrible, terrible shock and he, to save himself, he jumped in the harbour and he couldn't even swim but he sort of doggy paddled underneath the harbour to save himself. But a friend of his, a Mr. LePage, and his two sons were killed there. And that really, really upset my father a lot. And that was the reason that um, during the war, he never made friends with the Germans. He didn't like the orders, but he didn't disobey them because he, he knew what the Germans could do and um, he never really got over the bombing at the White Rock. Uh, were the Germans scary? No, I was never scared of any of the Germans. But you see, I was, I was just a baby when they first came. So I grew up amongst them, so to me it was quite normal. Did you see any prisoners of war or slaves? Um, I don't remember seeing any prisoners or slave workers, but I must have seen them because um, we lived at the Barcroft Till St. Saviour's and we would have walked past St. Saviour's Church and there was a lot of Germans and a lot of slave workers working around there. Um, so it would have been quite normal for us to see them, but I don't remember them as prisoners. I just thought they were people I didn't know. Did, did propaganda posters get dropped over Guernsey? 
Yes, they did. The, the propaganda leaflets were dropped by planes every now and again. And going to school, we looked and looked for them. Um, we would have, it was quite the thing if you, you'd been able to find one of these leaflets. But of course the wind would blow them all over the place. Oh, I looked and looked, but I never found one. But they were very prized positions uh, for the children at school. It was quite the thing if you found a leaflet. Um, I enjoyed school. I was a little bit concerned when one day we were allowed to go home early and we were told that the, we were going to be liberated, that the Germans, uh, the, uh, the British soldiers had come and taken over. But I would have been probably six years old then and I didn't understand. I didn't understand what liberation was. Um, I, I'd been used to my little world. Uh, my parents would have certainly not spoken to me about anything on towards going on in the island. Were you there when the British troops arrived on Liberation Day? Um, I did go down on that day and we had to walk from the Barker of Dills and Saviours all the way into town. And I remember my father put me on his shoulders so that I could see but that would have been in the afternoon, so it was the second wave of people coming ashore that I would have seen. So Liberation Day came, we were sent home early, and I remember we were frightened because we could hear the church bells being rung, and of course they hadn't been rung during the occupation. It was like a danger signal, and we hadn't been in danger as such. And we were frightened about the bells, couldn't understand that. And I remember my father putting me on his shoulders um, so I could see, and um, that would have been in the inner harbour. Um, but I didn't understand. People were waving and cheering, but it was above me. I didn't understand at all. Um, but uh, my father caught some sweets that were being uh, thrown, and it turned out he gave it to me but it turned out not to be a sweet, but to chewing gum. Well, of course, I'd never known what chewing gum was, and of course I swallowed it, which is not what you're supposed to do. And I've never liked chewing gum from that day on. So I, I've really got no unhappy memories of the occupation at all. Um, as for the food shortages, it would have been my parents' problem, not mine. I just ate what I was given. Um, I probably wasn't even thankful for it, but that's the way it is.